So today we're doing um, simultaneous equations and so that's when we have two equations and we want to solve um, you know what the unknowns are so normally we had um, x and y are our unknowns and when you have simultaneous if there's two unknowns that you want to solve what it is so it might end up being like you know when we had those questions where uh, so and so went to the shop, bought two pies, two drinks, and then it cost that much, and then someone else did, and things like that. So we're going to do those equations, but using matrices to solve it. And you need to know how to set them up, and because often the questions are show how it is um, you set it up, and then you have to show how it's solved. So if we have um, our two two equations here we've got um, so what I'm talking about is we have these two simultaneous equations and they both had X and Y in them so we need to solve so these other numbers or letters here the a B the C and the D and also this E and the F they're going to be numbers in this scenario okay so it might be like two for example it might be like 2x plus 3y equals 5 or whatever. So when you go to set up the matrices of simultaneous equations, the first matrix up here you'll have will be a 2 by 2, okay? And in that will go the elements of, or the numbers, in front of the x and the y. So say, for example, a will go there, b will go there, <coughs> The C letter will, number will go there and D. So you can see going down, this would be the X val the number in front of the X, and that will be the number in front of the Y. <coughs> then what you have, um, you then have times in by another matrix, which is a two by one. And in there, we pop in the letters that we don't know. So in this example, it's X and Y. And then we say it equals, and we will put the two answers to the equations in there, the E and the F. So in that little example that I wrote, a two would be there, a three would be there, and a five would be there, okay? So that's the, how you set up. So if we just gave them a label, and so what I'm talking about, we just gave those matrix, so we call this two by two matrix A, we called the two by one matrix X and I called this um, this two by one at the end I'm calling it matrix E for end okay so if you look at it if we were looking at what we've got there we would see um, we've got A times X so matrix A times matrix X equals E now, if you think about it, the matrix A will be filled with numbers and so will matrix E. So really what we say, we know what that one is, we know what that one is, we don't know what matrix X is. So if I was just solving it like we would normally do in maths, remember how I said, you'd bring the A over an equal sign and because it's timesing on this side, it's going to divide on the other. But we don't divide in matrices. Who remembers what I said the other day? We use the inverse. Good. So you can see over here, this is how we're going to solve it. So we've got matrix A times X and it equals E. So instead of like this moving over that, instead of dividing, we times by the matrix inverse. Or, you know, sometimes we looked at it as we do the same to both sides. Do you remember that? You divide both sides, yeah? So we're going to times it both sides, whichever way you look at it. So we're going to be using the inverse to solve. Now, it's very important that if the one that, see how the one we don't know, so we don't know this matrix X, because um, A is in front of it, when you're solving, the inverse needs to be in front of the other one, the E there, so when we solve. So down here, here is what we'd have to write if they said, show how you solve for that unknown matrix. This is how we're gonna do it. So we would take that A matrix 
we're going to raise it to the power of negative 1 and we'll times it by the that um, end matrix EF. So we can type that into our calculators or essentially they could ask you to show a few things. So they might, um, so you might want to take note, they might say this is, um, this is, sorry, this is the inverse matrix used to solve the used to solve the equation so sometimes they ask what what's the matrix used to solve so you'll have to show them the inverse matrix just that okay and so remember this is the unknown matrix we don't know that all right we can sometimes have simultaneous equations where there are uh, three unknowns so sometimes we're going to have three equations where there are three things we don't know. So this, in this example, it would be the x, y, and z. We don't know them. Okay? And just to show you how you set these ones up, and these numbers, would these let, the ones in the blue would be all numbers in your equation. And so would these ones in the green, the, uh, what the equations equal will be there. So when you go to set up a three unknown simultaneous equations, you're going to have a three by three, where all the um, numbers in front of x, y, and z will go down like this. So we will have a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, and i. They go in there. Now, the x, y, z going across there, that will go down that way. So you get, yeah, they're your unknowns. And we would know the answer to the equations by going, putting those numbers in there. So to solve on the calculator, so you only have to ever manually remember do two by two. So this one's bigger than that. So you would be doing this on the calculator. You'd simply type this matrix in so you write in all the numbers you would raise it to the power of negative one and then you would times it by the this matrix with the j k and l and that will give you what you end up with is a matrix that looks like this and whatever the numbers are or whatever is that's what x is that's what y is and that's what z is so we'll see this in a minute we're gonna do an example Okay, so here it's said to solve for X and Y and they're going to ask you to solve using matrices or set it up. Or they might say set up the, um, these sets of equa this equation in matrix form. They're things that they could say. All right, so if you have a look, see how we've got X and Y? They're our unknowns. We don't know what they are. And here I can see numbers in front of them and here's those end numbers. So what I'm gonna go pop into my, when I set up matrix, I'm gonna do the two by two. I'm gonna put five, two, seven, and three. Then in here, I put X and Y, and then equals 21 and 29. So can you see where I'm getting all those numbers from? Yeah. I'm doing it in the colors so that you can see where it's coming from. Is that the answer? What this is just here, what we've got written here, we've written the equations in matrix form, okay? So, oh, like yeah, so you might get asked to set, um, set it up in matrix form and that will be a couple of marks. So you first, you would do that, okay? Then to solve, to, if we're asked to solve, what we're going to do is can you see with I've got the calculator here we've typed in this matrix we're going to raise it to the power of negative one and then we're going to times it by that one and it'll give our answer so what we've just done on our calculator we've essentially found out what x is and what y is so we would say x equals five and y equals negative two so I'll pause it here and we're gonna do this one on our calculator to show you what I mean. We're up to example six. So now we're gonna solve 
um, a set of three simultaneous equations. So what we're going to do is there's the three equations um, down here. We've got x, y, and z are our unknowns. Okay, so when we have three unknowns, we have to, when we set it up, we'd have a three by three. So I'd have x, y, and z. Then I times it by a matrix that has x, y, z there, and then equals the end one. So the numbers that are in front of the letters are going to be our in this first matrix. So we can see we've got a three, a four, and a negative two. In the next one, it says two X, so I put two, and it says three Y, so I put three. Now there's no Z in that second equation, so if there's no letter, you put a zero. You need to put a zero there. And then in the last one, it's got X, but we know that's a number one in front of it, and two Y plus three Z. And then whatever my equations equal, I pop in this last one. Okay, so if I'm going to go solve this, so I'm going to solve it, what I would be typing in my calculator is I need the inverse of this first matrix. So I need to type this first matrix in, raise it to the power of negative 1, so remember, this is the inverse matrix, that one there. Okay, and then I times it by this negative five, one, and three, and I would get, I'm gonna get an answer. So I'll do it on our, our calculator, and let's have a look. Okay, so we're putting the answer in here. We found out that the answer on the calculator was negative 11, seven, and zero. So x equals negative 11, y equals 7, and z equals 0. Let's go. A manufacturer makes two sorts of orange flavoured chocolates, house brand and orange delights. The number of kilograms of house brand, so they're calling house brand x, and they're calling, and the number of kilos of orange delights, which are y, can be made from 80 kilograms of chocolate and 120 kilograms of filling. They can be found by solving the following pairs of simultaneous equations. So we want to, so you can see here, the question is they want you to solve for X and Y and we can see them in our equation and they want you to use matrix method. So what you're going to have to do is set it up and then show how you solve it. So here we go. We've got two equations. So we'd set up a two by two. So 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. I times it by there using X and Y. And it equals 80 and 120. Now, if I'm writing how I solve it, I'm just going to write X, Y equals. And I'll write this inverse out power of negative one and I'm gonna let you guys all do that and tell me what the answer is and we'll come back okay so we do that and we end up with a hundred and a hundred so what that means is there was a hundred kilos x equals a hundred kilograms was it kilograms yeah and y equals a hundred kilograms Okay, a worker can assemble 10 bookcases and four desks in 36 minutes. And he can then do eight bookcases and three desks in 28 minutes. If each bookcase takes B minutes and each desk takes D minutes, as to assemble the matrix B, D will be given by. So they're pretty much simultaneous equations that they want you to set up in matrix form. So if you look here, this is 10 B, 10 bookcases plus four desks equals 36, 360, sorry, and eight bookcases plus three 
deaths equal 280. So if I go to set that up in matrix form, it would be 10 and 4, 8 and 3 times B and D equals um, 360 and 280. Okay, now they want you to show which one of these down here of the answers, which one of these setups could you use to solve it. So we need to get our matrices in the solving format. So I would have, if I was solving for B and D, what I would have equals this 10, 4, 8 and 3 to the power of, oh, I'm not going to do that, because power of negative 1 times 360 and 280. So I go and look down there. Is this set up in any of my answers? It's not. So what I think they've done is they've changed this matrix. They've done the inverse first. So if we go and calculate what that is actually on our calculator, what that one is, what does that equal? Let's have a look. Okay, so if I do this on my actual calculator, I get negative 1.5, 2, 4, and negative 5. That's what this inverse ends up looking like. And then I would still need to times it with the 360 and the 280. So is this set up anywhere on the page in the answers? A, good. So there's our answer, A. Okay? All right. That was a multi choice. A basketball coach has written three linear equations which can be used to predict the points, rebounds, and assists that Oscar will have in his next game. The equations are here, uh, written just there. These, equ these equations can be written in matrix form and um, complete the missing thing. So we can see here, we need to, in this one here, we need to fill in the numbers of what are missing. So if don't forget that if you have just a letter, it's like a number one in front. So it'd be one, one, one. The next one would be two. This is like a negative one. So negative one, three, and one, two and one so that would be what's missing so you can see that's the setup now it says the matrix equation can be solved in the following way so here this matrix here is the inverse it's the inverse of that isn't it yeah and can you see they're saying what fill in the missing what x they didn't do they didn't actually write what x was they want you to um they want you to find what that number is so the way i would find that is by finding that inverse in my calculator so i'll go do that can you guys do that okay so when i popped in the inverse so i've popped this into the calculator to the power of negative one and I end up with this matrix seven negative one negative four negative one zero one negative five one and three so what's the answer to X good so we know now that X is negative five and then it says, how many rebounds will um, Oscar have in the next game? So pretty much they're asking what R is. So I just need to go solve it. So I pretty much need to calculate this now with the negative 5 and get the answer. Okay, so when we solve this, we end up with it equaling 19, 10 and 4. So this would be points, rebounds and assists. So he gets 10 rebounds.